everyone, welcome back to Flight School. Back with us is Dave Berman, who's gonna share some of his pro tips and tricks from working bridge inspections out in the field. There are two ways you can scan large structures. The first method is to segment your structure into smaller scans with some overlap in between. The other way is to complete everything in a single scan, performing battery swaps along the way. If you're doing a scan that requires multiple batteries to complete, it's very important you always take off from the same position and orientation. If your scan requires more than three or four batteries, like the large structure we're working with here, we recommend separating your structure into smaller scan segments. We also recommend launching close to your scan area. The most important setting that will impact the number of batteries needed for your scan area is the distance to surface. Distance to surface refers to the distance from which your drone will take a photo. Closer distance to surface means the drone will take more photos to cover your capture area and result in higher quality imagery, but longer scan time. Greater distance to surface means your drone can capture more of the structure in fewer photos and will complete the scan in less time, but at a lower resolution. Overlap percentage determines the amount of overlap between photos along a single flight line. Side lap percentage determines the amount of overlap between photos along two adjacent flight lines. Higher overlap means less gaps in your coverage, but more photos resulting in longer flight time. This is best for reconstruction. Less overlap will result in a faster flight time, but your drone will take less photos since it won't be flying as many passes of your scan area. If your objective is to only capture highly detailed imagery without later processing, you can decrease the overlap in side lab percentages to significantly speed up the scan time. If you know your required GSD or ground sample distance, then you can adjust your settings until you have achieved your desired GSD. Upward capture is a feature that allows you to fly a traditional mapping pattern but with the gimbal pointed 90 degrees up. This gives you the ability to inspect or scan the underside of a bridge. Enter 2D capture. Next, name your scan. Then, set your boundaries as well as the height of your capture, making sure the height is set below the bridge. Enable the upward capture toggle, located in the 2D capture settings. Skydio will automatically move the camera gimbal pitch to look up when it detects the height of the drone is below the specified scan surface. When flying autonomously with 3D scan, your drone will remain within an area defined by the scan volume and the chosen distance to surface value. However, when you need to further constrain the drone to a safe flight area while flying autonomously, you have the option to enable a strict visual geofence. You can enable a strict ceiling, which is useful to prevent flight over the deck of the bridge into traffic. You can also enable a strict floor if you don't want the drone to fly below a certain altitude. Your Skydio can operate in GPS-denied environments. However, it will always need a good connection with the controller. To maintain a good connection, you should point the controller in the direction of the drone and always maintain visual line of sight with your drone. If you do lose connection during flight, you don't need to worry because your drone will automatically return. If you're capturing photos for 3D reconstructions, we have the following recommendations. Your photos should have good contrast between the structure and background. Avoid reflective surfaces. And avoid too much sky or taking overexposed or underexposed photos. These tips are helpful even if you aren't using your photos for reconstruction. If you're performing a manual inspection, you can follow these best practices to get the best imagery for your reports. In this example, we will process our scan data using photogrammetry software so we can create 3D models of the areas we scanned. Your Skydio drone will capture the metadata needed to work in most photogrammetry engines. Before uploading your scan photos, it's beneficial to review and occasionally remove some of your photos before starting the reconstruction process. Here are some photo tips. Each image should have relevant detail about your structure or area of interest. Remove images that don't contain your structure or area of interest. 
remove overexposed or underexposed images. Removing unnecessary images can help reduce the overall file size of your reconstruction. Next, upload your photos to your preferred photogrammetry tool. Once uploaded, your model will be processed and you'll be able to manipulate your scan to evaluate your inspection points, view photos from a specific location, and much more. No matter what type of inspection data you're gathering, your Skydio drone will be the perfect addition to your toolkit. With Skydio Autonomy Enterprise and 3D Scan, you will have all of the onboard intelligence you will need to get the job done. And that's a wrap. Thanks, Dave. I have a lot more trust in myself now when it comes to bridge inspections. If you want to dive deeper into 3D Scan, check out our online and in-person training options at skydio.com forward slash skydio academy. And tune in for future flight school videos.